So here I've got the uh, the clock from Banggood. Um, I've been using it for a few weeks, but it's it's a bit bright even even at night time when you actually it's um, there's no light on the on the sensor, the light sensor it goes into uh, it dims down a bit. I didn't have the power plug in for you there. It, it dims down a bit, but it's still too bright um, at night. So what I've got is I've got some um, limo black tinting. Uh, I've got it on eBay. Uh, I think it was 99p for a sample. And obviously that's quite a bit bigger than the the clock. So I can actually do quite a few of these. I mean, I've got four of these clocks that I can do anyway that I've got that I was going to do anyway. So I'm just going to show how I'm going to just fit that on. But I'm not going to put it on the outside. I'm going to put it on the inside. So I'm going to take it apart, cut a bit to size, and then uh, put it all back together again. And that'll actually make it quite a bit darker, even the daytime. But the nighttime, make it more more bearable, so that you can actually, um, you know, still see it, but it won't be too bright. So the first thing I need to do uh, is take this clock apart again. Which is just four little. Well, two little screws on the front, and the front will come off. Let's we'll take the power out, might as well. Yeah, the nuts come off there. Take this one out. And there we go. And I thought the best way to do this would probably to actually cut it the same size as the actual display. But, um, I won't be able to get that out of there easily. So, if I just move these screws out of the way, I'll do. So, I'll probably use the front of the screen to just cut a little piece of it out and then uh, just slot it in, right? So, I'll get my knife, which isn't too oversized for the job, honestly. And what I'll do, put one bit there. Now I can tell where that's going to be needed to be cut, which is down inside, just there. And down there. And this is probably not cutting right through because this blade isn't actually all that sharp, but it'll at least make mark on the film yep so there's quite a few little crinkles on there now so then what I can do I've got my scissors over here I'll actually cut it using the scissors instead because now that I can actually see the little cuts it doesn't have to be exact anyway so just to cover up the displays because they are pretty bright so we'll cut through to there. And we'll do the same this way. And hopefully that's all we need to do. Like that, that's pretty good. And that should just fall straight in. If I'll cut it a good size. Yep, that's pretty good. Put the front back on. It in. Now, obviously, the daytime brightness will uh, be still a little bit, still quite bright. So, uh, but to be honest, these clocks are going to be going in the bedroom. So, it's it's better to be darker at night time than too bright. So, uh, that's actually the wrong way around. Should we get this right? <laughs> yes. Turn that around that way. That'd be better. Let's get the nut in that side. No, this side. There we go. The other nut just fell on the floor, so I'll just grab that. that one in there, put the screw in, 
and uh, there we go. It actually looks better with a black screen on the front because the the LEDs with the LED segment displays were actually quite. You could see all of the numbers even though it was switched off. You know, it, you, you could still see the the outlines. Cause, I mean, obviously you can. But like that, it looks quite a bit better. Uh, get the power in there. And there we go. So that's with it on the daytime. I don't think I will actually get it to go into nighttime because it's quite bright underneath this light. But uh, there we go. That looks quite a bit nicer actually. So there you go. So if you do have one of these clocks from Banggood and find it too too bright during the night time, um, you can get some of this film from eBay and uh, put a little bit behind the screen and then it makes it quite a bit darker. So uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.